actually goes back to when I was eight years old and I started canoe tripping in Canada. And one of the th first things you learn as a canoe tripper, and many of you have seen it, you always leave a campsite better than when you got there. Nobody else might ever use the campsite, or if they do, they might not recognize your improvement. Or if they do, they might not know it was you that did it, and it doesn't matter. You just do it. Planet Earth is our campsite. Each of us needs to leave this campsite better than it was when we got there. So when we talk about why do it, why not? What we've done here is create a community that is what's called net zero because terms like sustainability, earth friendly, green are not measurable. So a company can continue to do the same product and same service and not change an iota but call it energy efficient or green. And it's nonsense. The way you measure whether or not it is is the term is called net zero, which says we take, for example, with power, we have photovoltaic panels that generate power when the sun hits it, and at night, we take it back from the grid. So in the daytime, we're generating excess, we put it into the grid, our meters go backwards, and at night, we take it back. So we provide 100% of everything, heating, cooling, power, water. At the end of 12 months, our, our utility bill will be zero. So we've always been eco-friendly, but what drew us most to this place was actually just the pure beauty of it. When we walked in during an open house, it would just took our breath away. It was an absolutely beautiful place to live. I can look out at the stars at night when I'm going to bed. I can wake up in the morning and see a garden, you know, right in front of my eyes without even having to step outside. The kids uh, just love, you know, being able to walk around and see greenery and, you know, they think it's just a normal place to live, but it's absolutely beautiful. In addition to beauty, one of the things that I began to learn is what the people, the residents here call being in community. What does that mean? They said, well, it's here. So what is there about here that makes it being in community? And so we've lived other places, not really known our neighbors for 10 years. So I know everybody here, and if I ever need help, I'm confident that I could go to any of the others here and get help. And if anybody else here came to us needing help, unquestionably, I'd give them help right away. And they all looked at each other and nodded. That was not part of my original notion, but I can see where that really impacts quality of life experience. So if I had a choice of living in this home compared to a traditional home, I would definitely choose this because um, just it creates a really small, tight-knit environment that can have an expansion or it can be small if you're living with just a couple, but you can also raise a family here. And so I would definitely go for this because it's environmentally friendly, it's more cost efficient, um, and it's really just something that is out of the box, it's unique, it's not something you're gonna see anywhere else. And so I would definitely choose this.